Forsyth, Georgia, A Racist History and a Racist Past. In 1912, white mobs set fire to black churches and black owned businesses. Eventually, the entire black population of Forsyth County, Georgia was driven out. This is true and a part of the history of Forsyth just a few miles from the city of Atlanta. The city of Forsyth Seal says, a proud past, a promising future. Really? So why did this happen? Because a white woman claimed that a black man beat and raped her, who later died of her injuries. So a lynch mob attacked and hanged one black suspect. And two teenagers, two black teenagers, were hanged in public executions following a short trial of an all-white jury. And we've all heard of these stories before. You see, the fact is, the probability of the black man raping this white woman accuser was zero to none. But all a white woman had to do was to say, he did it, accusing a black man, and he was hung. Sound familiar? Forsyth, only 40 miles north of Atlanta, Georgia, near the Blue Ridge Mountain, has a population of 212,000, and less than 4% of that population is black. The history of Forsyth, Georgia, is pretty shocking, but if you don't study your history, you won't know it. Forsyth, Georgia, was in the news again just a few years ago, when a woman named Jane Wood Allen, a paraprofessional at Chastity Elementary School, called the then First Lady Michelle Obama a gorilla on Facebook. Allen was fired, but it was not the first time that she displayed such bigotry on social media. You see, in 1910, Forsyth County, Georgia, had 1,098 black residents, but after the blacks were literally forced out by the ethnic cleansing burnout, the number of blacks living in Forsyth County plunged to 17 black people only 17 residents by 1930. Forsyth County would remain nearly all white for the rest of the century, though some activists did try to change that. In 1987, just a few years ago, the now deceased civil rights legend and resident of Atlanta, Jose Williams, and hundreds of others marched to Forsyth, Georgia to declare that the county was too white. They argued that racism had kept blacks out but the peaceful black marchers were met with white brick throwing residents and Klansmen waving Confederate flags and shouting, Keep Forsyth wide! Oprah Winfrey even showed up with the camera crew in the aftermath of the rally, but Forsyth held steady and racist. By 1990, only 14 black people lived there. Now, we all know the statistics. The most racist counties and the most racist towns in America generally have the most illiterate and uneducated whites as residents. It's vitally important to know history, and it's equally important to remember the events of the past in the history of the free United States of America. Though the number 1912 may seem like a long time ago, it really isn't. Forsyth County, Georgia, and other towns and villages and counties like it will always be a part of America. And these areas and their residents will always be left behind vestiges of yesterday. The progressive and educated rest of the world moves forward and leaves them in the dust of poverty of the past. Poverty of the mind and spirit are equally as regressive as financial poverty. But such is the way of ignorance. Well, like, subscribe, Think for yourself. Research for yourself. This is a Merologic channel.